Good morning students. Hearty welcome to Adarsh Vidyalaya Education Online Class. Welcome children. Class 8, Subject Science, Unit 2, Force and Pressure. Force. The very first question, I would like to ask you before I start this lesson, Force and Pressure is, what causes motion? What causes an object to move? Motion is nothing but movement. So, when an object or a person or thing moves from one place to another, we say that the object is in motion. What causes that motion? Who makes that object to move? You just take a ball and push the ball. It will start rolling or moving. Until or unless you do not apply any sort of force or any sort of push or pull, it will not move. So, in order to make the ball to move or in order to make any stationary body to move, we need to apply an external force. So, here comes the word force. So, force is an action of push or pull which makes the bodies to move or brings the moving bodies to rest. It even changes the shape and size of certain bodies. How we define the term of force in physics? A push or pull that tends to affect an object in some way is called force. Pushes and pulls are the two forms of forces. Let's see a simple activity. We all know about the game tug of war. In this game, two groups of students are there. They are standing along a straight line, one behind the other. Each team pulls the rope to ask themselves. Who win the game? The team which pulled the rope with a great force wins. The winners are applying a great amount of force. Hence the rope moves towards them. So, the direction of a force is the direction in which a push or pull is applied. Force is a vector quantity. What is vector quantity? Quantity that can be measured or known as physical quantity. These physical quantities are divided into scalar quantity and vector quantity. Vector is a, nothing but a physical quantity which have a specific magnitude and direction. So it is a vector quantity. Force is measured by the unit Newton. It is denoted by the letter capital M. Effects of force. Force can affect the body in many ways. Let's see one by one the effects of force. First, force can make a stationary object to move. In this picture, this lawn, this gardener uses a force to move a stationary lawn mover. Second, force can change the speed of moving object. Here, the cyclist uses a bigger force to pedal his cycle and increase his speed. Next, force can change the direction of a moving object. Here, the footballer uses a force to change the direction of motion of a ball. Next, the force can change the shape of an object. Here, the baker uses a force on his dove to flatten it. Next, factors depends on force. So far we studied the effects of force. Now we are going to study the factors on which the effect of force actually depends. There are two factors depends on force. One is magnitude. The second is the area over which it acts. That is the surface area where the force acts. Magnitude is one of the factors on which the effects of force depends. For example, when you play any game, if you apply a greater force on a body, the effect will be greater. See this picture. If this batsman wants to hit the cricket ball to the boundary, the striking force on the ball must be greater. Next, the impact of force depends on the area which it is acting upon. We can study this through a simple activity. You can see.
see two pictures on the screen. In the first picture, your wooden board is there. The matrix of short pins are fixed on the wooden board in rows and columns. Now, take a blown up balloon and place it gently over the pins. Now, place a small book on the top of the balloon. Will the balloon burst? Will the pins prick the balloon? The answer is no. The balloon will not burst. In the second picture, when pricking the blown up balloon with a single pin, burst the balloon. The reason is the area of contact. Force has a greater impact if the area of contact is smaller and lesser impact if the area of contact is greater. So, a single pin produces a lot of pressure over a small area on the balloon and make the balloon to burst. But when a large number of pins prick a body, each pin exerts very little pressure on the balloon so the balloon will not burst. From this activity, we conclude that the effect of force depends on the magnitude of the force and the area over which it acts. Next is thrust. Thrust is nothing but a force. It is a force acting perpendicularly to the surface of a body. It is also measured by the unit Newton. Now let us talk about pressure. The effect of force can be measured using a physical quantity called pressure. Pressure is nothing but force per unit area. The amount of force which we applied, applied is an object and the amount of impact which we get may differ. Let's see an example. If you push a wall and a book with the same amount of force, the impact or result in both the case extremely different. The wall doesn't move away, but the book might move a large distance. So the impact is different. In order to understand about the impact by the applied force, we should talk about pressure because Pressure also depends on the area on which the force has been applied. Pressure can be represented by the equation force divided by area. The SI unit of pressure is Pascal. It is named after the French scientist Blaise Pascal. 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per meter square. The formula of pressure shows that if the surface area which the force acts increases, then the pressure will decrease. On the other hand, if the area over which the force acts decreases, then the pressure will increase. Increase to pressure means greater impact. Decrease to pressure means smaller impact. Thus, pressure plays a useful role in estimating the impact of the force. Now let's study how to increase pressure? The effect of pressure can be increased by two ways. One is by increasing the thrust. The second is by increasing the area over which the force acts. See some examples for the applications of pressure. We use sharp knives to cut things rather than a blunt knife. It is because the edge of a sharp knife has a very small area of contact. This produces a pressure large enough to cut through the things. In, in our shoulder bags, we have broad straps. It is used to increase the surface area of contact and reduce the pressure exerted on the shoulders by the weight of the bag. We find it difficult to walk in sand. But a camel can walk easily on the sand. It is because the large pad of feet of a camel increase its area of contact with the ground. This reduces the pressure and enables it to walk on sand daily. More number of wheels are provided for a heavy goods carrier for decreasing the pressure, thereby increasing the area of contact on the road. Let's see a quick recap of today's lesson. Force, first we studied force. Force is a push or pull that tends to affect an object in some way. Unit of force is Newton. 
it is denoted by the letter capital n force changes or tends to change the state of rest state of uniform motion of a body direction of a moving body shape of a body there are two factors depends on force they are magnitude and area over which it acts if the area over which the force acts increases then the pressure will decrease if the area over which the force acts decreases then the pressure will increase increased pressure greater impact decreased pressure smaller impact thrust is a force acting perpendicularly on any given surface area of a body it is also measured by newton pressure is nothing but force per unit area the formula of pressure is force or thrust divided by area we prefer to use sharp knives rather than blunt knife to cut fruits and vegetables because sharp knife has sharp edges so the area of contact is lesser the effect of pressure is increased so we can able to cut the vegetables and fruits easily next we can see a sum example sum given in our textbook the question is can play the pressure exerted by the foot of an elephant using the following data average weight of an elephant is 4000 newton surface area of the sole of its foot is 0.1 m square the question paper given weight of the elephant is 4000 newton we need the weight of one leg that is 4000 divided divided by 4 is equal to 1000 newton area of sole of one feet is 0.1 meter square the question asked to find pressure we know that the formula of pressure pressure is equal to force divided by area is equal to 1000 divided by 0.1 we can't divide by decimal so we have to convert decimal to whole number so divide numerator and denominator by 10 we get 10000 divided by 1 into square we take the denominator to numerator we to square changes to meter raised to minus 2 the answer is 10000 newton per meter square is equal to 10 to the power 4 newton meter raised to minus 2 home fund Students are asked to study these questions and write the school test. Answer in one or two sentences. Give two examples to verify that a force changes the shape of a body. Second question. Give two examples to verify that a force tends to change the static condition of a body. Three. Define force. Four. Define pressure. Five. Why are heavy bags provided with board straps? Thank you.